contrast is an important component of getting a good looking image, and there are several ways to change it inside of Lightroom. Contrast really refers to the difference between the lightest and darkest elements. And not all scenes are gonna have contrast, but if it's supposed to be there and it's lacking, it really stands out. As we take a look at this photo of the Grand Canyon, it was a cold day. The photo itself is mostly properly exposed, but I wanna fix this a little bit. I'll click the auto button, and you'll notice that what it did was pulled the highlights down a little bit and adjusted the black, white points and shadows. Here, by recovering the highlights, but pushing the white point, we have more dynamic range in the clouds. And similarly, by playing with the shadows and the black point, we have good dynamic range down here. We can also use the traditional contrast slider, but be careful, if you overdo this, it really flattens out the color in the scene. Instead of being aggressive here with contrast, consider some of the presence controls, which we'll talk about more in a bit. But a little bit of clarity, and potentially a little bit of texture, and you could really start to bring some of those areas out. What we did there was really lift up the rocks and the shadows. Let's click here for the before and after, and you can see what a big change that made. Notice how there's more detail in the clouds, and that we've got more tonal range here from dark to light, creating a more visually interesting image. Let's do it really quickly here on another image that's similar. Again, by just changing that relationship of recovering highlights and lifting whites, or even clicking auto, you're gonna see a nice change. Then the use of texture and clarity can quickly bring that out. Now this particular image is a little cold for me, so I'm gonna find something that should be gray and click, and that warmed it up accordingly. I like that warmer feel for the desert, and it definitely looks a bit better. 